so for the demo uh, we have this particular application open with us yeah so this is a retail banking console application we discussed about the console apps in the features itself only so this is a retail banking console application i am logged in as a sales user so over here we can see the referrals that i had so i had five referrals out of those five i was able to convert one and then we can see the assistant information or we can see assistant which is telling us like there has been two opportunities where there has been no interaction this is again system generated and which allows us to you know which allows the sales rep to be able to identify like you haven't worked on this and you need to you know make sure to kind of you know look into that so it can do that for us then over here we can see much more detailed information like i had four referrals assigned to me out of those uh, five referrals one is converted then we can see internal referrals like uh, vishwaji srivastava has referred four customers to me external refer is one uh, which rachel was the one and we can see all of that information over here we can see interaction summaries so interaction summaries is a interaction module of financial services cloud uh, it's again a completely uh, different thing not different but a completely separate part which allows a business to track the interaction that particular business is having with that particular individual so over here like there is a a uh, project that we were discussing with Rachel and over here there were three individual who were part of it if i can simply click on it yeah we can see all of that so it allows you to you know keep track of all the interactions that you are doing with that particular individual now i will quickly move to accounts uh Rachel Adams yeah all right so right now i am in Rachel Adams account and over here we can see you know a lot of things so first of all i will talk about the you know life events so over here we can see life events like when was rachel born when uh, when she did post graduation when uh, when she got married when she moved to new york when she bought new car and all of that again all of these life events are completely customizable and we can create it as our need basis we can you know utilize them however we want then we can see interest tax uh, as i discussed earlier we have you know kind of added interest like you know she's into snowboarding she's into sailing when it comes to water sports and we can utilize that for our marketing campaigns or whenever we have our next interaction with with her we can utilize that then we have financial information over here about her like how many saving account she has checking account and credit account she has now i will go to her household which is adam's household so yeah. over here we can see the relationship so this is the relationship that i was talking about earlier so we can see okay adam household is there rachel adam is the primary member for us for this household then we have nigel adam nigel is spouse of rachel and he is over here then we have adam charitable trust alpine group other you know different accounts or companies which are linked to this particular household we can view all of that then we can see the information about you know like okay this particular uh, household has lawyer which is ivan and we can see a complete information over here if i go to the goal section now goals is another way where we can you know track what are the goals of this particular household so for example rachel adams of this household has a goal of buying a vacation home in tahoe and she has specified like how much amount it would be and how much she has already accumulated for that then we have laura's wedding fund which again uh, is rachel's uh, goal then we have nigel's goal which is to do savings for education of mat so we can define these goals uh, from the household perspective from the business perspective we can do that then we have financials so financials allows us to you know completely view the in detail information about this particular household like how many saving accounts they have like rachel and then we can see the credit account the loan account the mortgage account the auto loan the line of credit that they have on their property then the assets and liabilities that they have so this gives us the complete understanding of you know the household itself only then if i go to the uh, account relationship contact <coughs> sorry yeah if i go to the arc yeah so over here we can how see how many in the audience are suffering with some cold and cough right yeah, now nice question i mean al almost like 20% of the people in our office is struggling with the same or probably has spread it at it so much yeah i'm not how sure. many people like can we have it in the comments if that's <laughs> comfortable for you all right let's 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 skip to that yeah, part yeah, 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 yeah. all right so uh, coming back to the account relationship center so over here we can see a much more detailed view as i was talking about earlier so if i click on scott adams 
from adam household i can see all the information that i have like scott adams is belonging to adam household and he is also belonging to torres adam household as well then if i click on rachel adams it will give us much more detailed information okay uh, rachel has these financial accounts uh, she has auto loan and she has also house as well see the view that you are viewing right now is completely configurable we can configure it as per our need basis of what all references that we want to make with this and utilize that so we can take care of that so uh, this is the brief demo that i wanted to provide there are much more things uh, that fsc has to offer financial services cloud has to offer but we cannot cover that in just one i would say small demo itself only no problem we'll wait